A welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the absolutely stunning Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be heading back to Shady Bell and we are going to be talking to Sadie Adler. Now, if you can't remember who Sadie Adler is, she is the woman that we rescued all the way back in part one from the O'Driscolls and then eventually she ended up joining our gang and becoming a permanent member. We also did a mission with her back at Clementine Point where we had to pretty much go shopping with her and then we got attacked by a couple of Lamone Raiders. So yeah, she's actually a very important character but you don't really talk to her very much or do much with her at this point in the game. But once we get later in the game, she actually starts becoming a lot more of an important character, you know. So if you like this character, you will be seeing a lot more of her soon. But yeah, we're going to be heading back to Shady Bell today and I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be a very wild mission, so we're going to get that done. And then, depending on what mission I get next, I might do the mission with Mary Linton. Now, I really don't want to do it because I don't like Mary Linton at all. She is a horrible character, and the fact that she only contacts Arthur every time she needs help really gets on my nerves, you know. But I also want to show you guys and girls as much of the content as I can, so... I don't know, we might do it. It depends what missions become available once I finish with this one. But yeah, we're going to head back to Shady Bell and we're going to get this done. Now, uh, we didn't really do a ton of stuff in the last video. I mean, we did quite a few things, but a lot of it was like just stuff that's going to be really important later in the game. For now, it's a bunch of just useless information, you know. So we found out a bunch of high profile characters. We found out about the mayor of San Denis. We found out about a dude who leads a sugar plantation in the middle of some little island somewhere. We learned about him a little bit. We learned some more information about Angelo Bronte. We also got some information from some of the dudes, like Angelo Bronte told us that if we need money, we can rob a, um, we can rob a trolley station. So we know we can do that to make some money. So that was some information we got from Angelo Bronte. This was all during like some high class profile um, party that we went to. Jose also got some information telling us that we could go and enter ourselves in a very high stakes poker game and we could rob the place, which we actually did in the last video, so we did that. We also learnt a bit of information about Eagle Flies and Rain Falls, which are a couple of uh, Native Americans, so we learnt a bit of information about them and we also actually helped out a couple of them with a mission, which was pretty much just to find a document saying that there was oil under their land so we pretty much just ran into their oil camp to steal this document so now they've got no proof that there is oil underneath the Native Americans camp you know because they were going to try and use that as a way to make the Native Americans move once again you know because in this game you already know or during in real life you know the Native Americans were treated like shit and pretty much just had their land stolen from them by the Americans you know so we, we did learn quite a lot of stuff about a lot of important characters. Just the problem is, a lot of these characters are not very... They're not very useful at the moment, you know. There's, there's not really any need to know about them just yet. Because a lot of their stories and a lot of the stuff you need to do with them isn't until, like, chapter 6, you know. So, this, a lot of these stuff we've learned about them isn't really important yet, you know. But that's all we really did in the last video. Found out a load of information about some important characters. Oh, God. Auto save. Always jump scares me every time. Oh god damn it. Look at these look at these brave little devils. I've got no oh god, I've got no dead eye. Thank god I've got me uh, two pistols nicely upgraded and ready for action. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, have some chewing tobacco, I think, because that's gonna refill my dead eye. And then after, I'm going to eat something to refill my dead eye core. That's what you should do. You should have some chewing tobacco that will completely fill up your ring, which sounds really filthy. And then if you have some dinner, it will fill up the core, you know. So let's have a look what we've got. I also might need to give the uh, horse a brush. Oh, oregano prime beef. I don't remember making that. It looks delicious. Damn, it didn't even fill up my dead eye core all the way. I might need to have something else. I need like something little. I need some, like, stringy meat. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. Flaky fish. There we go. Now I'm just going to give Bolt a brush, try and calm him, calm her down a little bit, and then we'll carry on heading back to the camp. But yeah, like I was saying, all we really found out in the last video was a bunch of information about a bunch of high-profile characters, and uh, 
that was pretty much it. And then we started doing some of the stuff we found out, like we robbed a boat and we uh, entered ourselves into a poker game to rob a boat and get loads of money. And what else did we do? Oh, and we also helped Eagle Flyers get a document back that stops them from proving that there's oil underneath the, uh, I think it's the Watipi camp or something like that. So yeah, that's all we really did. And now we're going to be headed back to camp and talking to Sadie Adler. Sorry if that intro was really horrible. I felt like that intro went bad. <laughs> I talked too quickly. I, I've got so much information in my head when I'm doing these videos. Like so much stuff I want to talk about in these games. Whether it's what we're going to do in this video or what happened in the last video. I've got so much stuff I want to talk about that I'll start talking super speed. And then it all just comes out in a blur. And I'll probably just talk way too quick for anyone to keep up. So I do apologise. I should probably become a rapper. I reckon I'd be really bloody good at it. <laughs> With the amount of Eminem I've listened to and how fast I bloody talk, I reckon I'd be one of the best. Maybe I should do that one day as a joke, make a rap song. I'd be tempted to do that, actually. Even, even if it got a, a load of dislikes and everybody told me I was shit, I'd be tempted to do that anyway. I reckon that'd be damn fun. I'd have to think of a topic, though. Because I was already working on a rap song. It wasn't for me, though. It was for T-Wolf. It was going to be a... Um, it was going to be a diss track against YouTube. I've not got time to help you, I do apologise. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. But yeah, it was going to be a diss track to YouTube by T-Wolf, you know, and I did start making it. I think the, the biggest problem I had was trying to get a nice instrumental, you know, because a lot of the instrumentals I found were just... They were either free and rubbish, or they were really good, but they costed quite a lot of money, you know, and I, I wanted to buy a licence for it where I owned the tune, you know, so that if uh, the song ended up doing well, I could sell it. And a lot of the licenses were like, I think the cheapest ones were like £100 and it felt like a very big gamble because I would need to get like 100,000 views to get that money back. And the chance of me getting 100,000 views is pretty low so I didn't end up doing it. But, you know, maybe one day I'll do it. Maybe I'll work, my, make my own beat or something. You alright Lenny, how you doing mate? It's raining outside at the moment, so I think we might be free from a load of kid noise today, but at the same time, I think I can hear someone screaming right now, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Oh, we've got some chores to do over there. What's that chore, actually? I don't think I've ever seen this chore. Oh, oh, it's carrying sacks. Okay, I've done that before. I don't really see the point in doing chores, to be honest, because it doesn't really affect your reputation that much at all, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Oh well, let's go and talk to Sadie Adler. Sorry for that long intro, I'm sorry for talking so much. I know I do it all the time, but you know, some of you guys and girls like it when I talk a lot. Some of you probably get annoyed, but you know, I, I just do what I do, you know. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch, you know. <laughs> but I apologise anyway. But yeah, we're going to talk to Sadie Adler, get through this mission, and then I've got something else that is very awesome that I want to tell you all. I've got a lot to talk about today. <laughs> this is going to be a talkative video. How are you doing, Sadie? How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll Boys are coming! 
Oh my god, I fucking knew that was coming. That bit really annoys me. I mean, you, you guys and girls already know I'm a big fan of Kieran. It's just, it's just annoying because Kieran doesn't. I mean, besides a couple of honourable missions that you can do with him, you know, like a couple of a couple of side missions, he's he's um he doesn't really get much time in this game. You know, he pretty much gets kidnapped. You have a bit of a cutscene where his balls get threatened to be cut off, and then he shows you where the O'Driscolls camp is. You know, he helps you out. He joins your clan. He looks after your horses all the time, and then he ends up dead. He has a horrible time, old Kieran. I really do like him. I like how he loves the animals and that. Oh, oh, sorry. I think uh, I think uh, you had to protect the door, and I think I was ignoring him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking Dutch. Oh shit! I hope no one else is going to end up dead. We've already lost Sean and now Kieran, so yeah, we better we better deal with these twats. Come on, boys and girls, come on! You should already be inside. Look at Mrs. Grimshaw with her weapon. <laughs> Mrs. Grimshaw's a badass, isn't she? Oh shit, I, f I forgot. Oh, there we go. I forgot I had to crash. Oh! Right in the face! Oh! Back of the head! Oh crap! I think in a minute a wagon might appear, actually. Yeah, let me, let me just change the dynamite, yeah. Because I think in a minute a wagon might appear with a load of reinforcements. I think it's coming now. Yeah, let me get my dynamite ready. Oh, it does fill up your uh, health bar quite a lot when you use dynamites to kill people. Oh crap, oh crap. Run, 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 run. Let me in, let me in. Move out of the way, boys. Damn, I nearly got killed then. Come on, Arthur boy, come on. I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Okay, I don't think that needed to be a cutscene, but alright, mate. Damn, well, how many flipping boys do the O'Driscolls have? I mean, when you think about our gang, we don't have that many people. And then you see the O'Driscolls. Oh! You see the O'Driscolls, and they've got like an army. And why, why the hell does my, uh. Why the hell do my characters never have like a massive gang like this? I don't know if that was a. Was that a kill? Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, did you hear a scream? Jump through the window. I don't need to jump through no damn window. <laughs> yeah, Sadie hates the old Driscolls. I'll tell you, Wolf Wolfettes. I'll tell you, Sadie Adler is my kind of girl. She's my kind of girl. I mean, she doesn't like the O'Driscolls because they murdered her husband, just in case you guys and girls can't remember. That's why she doesn't like the O'Driscolls. They're turning up on boats now as well. What's this all about? I mean, they didn't even make it to the shore, but still. I need to have something to eat here. Uh, have something to eat in a second. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh, that was, that was a lucky shot, that was. Who the hell shot me out of? I'm sorry I don't stay in cover very much. I might be annoying some of you. I do apologise, but I just like running and gunning in this game. It just feels right, you know. I feel like I, feel I spend so much time being slow in this game because it's a very slow pace. When I have the chance to have a gunfight, I just like running around like a mad lad, you know. It's probably not a good idea. Who's that? Fucking hell! Old, old uh, Charles just come out with a cantana. What a beast! Oh, what a shot! <laughs> oh, you ain't getting away, boys! I think I might have just killed Sadie the Adler, but never mind. Oh, look at that! Cowards! We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, 
Help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yeah, love is a powerful bloody thing. A very powerful thing. Love can make you do some stupid stuff and it can also make you do some great stuff, you know. I think personally for me, love has probably made me do a, a ton of great things, you know. I mean, I started YouTube because of my fiance, you know. It was like, my sister was the reason why I had the idea because I wanted to record a load of, uh, I wanted to record a load of videos for her so that she could uh, watch my gameplays when she was at college and that and she didn't have to miss games you know but at the same time also my fiance didn't used to live with me and she was in Yorkshire and I used to record games thinking you know then it was something she could watch you know I'm in the videos you know so I might not have even started YouTube if I didn't have my fiance it was a mixture of my sister and fiance so you know it's yeah I mean and it, it takes a lot of love to keep doing YouTube I tell you that <laughs> it takes a lot of love to keep doing this goddamn thing I love YouTube, I love you guys and girls, but there is so many days I just wish I could quit because, you know, YouTube is just a shithole, you know. I mean, uh, you probably saw YouTube Rewind. Uh, I mean, this video will be on YouTube on Sunday. You probably saw YouTube Rewind. I think it was uploaded on Thursday. It was awful. It is just so awful. They picked the same bloody people over and over again, you know. They, they, they seem to be terrible at, find, uh, at like, showing what's trending in the year. They seem to keep pumping it filled with celebrities, like anyone gives a toss about celebrities on YouTube. No one cares about celebrities on YouTube. I don't get why YouTube don't understand this. I know they're trying to please their advertisers because of all the controversial shit that's happened, but you're, not, you're an idiot, YouTube. You are such a moron. You want to be showing off people like PewDiePie. I mean, even, even KSI and Logan Paul, I'm not really a fan of Logan Paul, but both of them probably made one of the biggest events in history on this bloody website with the boxing match that they did. And their brothers as well, like Jake and uh, Deji and that, you know? So you, you would expect them to uh, be in the, in the uh, video, but they're not. Do you know why they're not in it? Because they're controversial and they've done some questionable things. So YouTube shuns them from YouTube Rewind. They put the same social justice -y warrior people in it. And it's just boring, you know? Politically correct shit and celebrities. That's all it was. It's boring, you know? I'm not even playing around. It actually pisses me off. Because I see so many great creators on this website, you know, just normal everyday people that make very great videos, you know, and they do it themselves. No production team, no no cameraman, no editors, no nothing, just normal everyday people. Obviously some of them have got themselves so big that they can now afford an editor, but most of us all started in our bedrooms with a camera, you know. And these people should be in YouTube Rewind, you know, and they should be shown and rewarded for their time and effort they put into this website. But then YouTube just wants to put Will Smith in it. Or The Rock, you know, why? I don't understand what you, I don't get what YouTube's beef is, I don't understand. It's like, it's like they want us to all leave or something, you know, and when we all leave, they're going to understand just how much we do for this website, you know. Sorry I'm going off on a tangent, it just really pisses me off, you know, because there's so many people, and I'm not just talking about big people, even small channels, you know. I, I watch quite a lot of small channels, and they're brilliant, you know. I'm not even talking about just for myself. It's just boring, I see so many great channels that don't get the recognition they deserve, and it frustrates me. YouTube Rewind, they should make like a YouTube Rewind for the big guys and they should have like a smaller YouTube Rewind for like small channels to be shown off that have done really well. I don't know, it just bloody annoys me.
Sorry for going off on a tangent, you know, I apologise. <laughs> but yeah, what we're going to do now is, obviously we have, uh, we've just had this tragedy go down at Shady Bell when poor old Kieran's been killed. And the O'Driscoll's obviously know where we are, so we're in a bit of a spot of bother. And also the Pickertons know that we were here. So they're going to be searching this area, so it's not going to take them too long to discover this place right here or get some information about where we've gone. So we need to move away from this place. Now, as you guys and girls know, originally we were going to move to the west. That's the point of this game. Get money, go to the west. Maybe get our money back from Blackwater, but that's not happening. Our new plan is now for us to move to another country. So what we're doing now is we're going to hastily try and rob the trolley station, which I think is this place right over here. And we're going to try and get a bunch of money and then try and leave. Now, this is the place that Angelo Bronte told me about. He said, I can rob this place, but he can have nothing to do with it. Because, you know, he's trying to be a, uh, a, a good guy that's secretly bad, I guess. You know, and he doesn't want to be a part of a robbery. So, yeah, this is what we're going to do now. So, let's get on with it. Sorry for talking so much. Um, it's, it's one of those videos where I've got a lot to talk about, you know. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, I don't know if I was meant to kick him, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. Give me your money, mate. Come on. <laughs> Relieve the fine folks of their valuables. I like it when he said Tahitians or whatever he bloody said. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, those things that appear in the corner, that is, uh, that's for challenges. If you're planning on getting the platinum for this game, to 100% the game you need to do all the challenges and they are very grindy and some of them are quite difficult, you know. So if you want to platinum this game, you're in for a good, with the online mode, you're in for a, at least a 500 hour journey probably. Depends on uh, how lucky you get with some of the things. Alright, come on in, mate. Come on. Get me other gun out as well. Come on, mate. You're taking a long bloody time, ain't ya? He's taking a long time, isn't he? Come on. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That Let's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does this go to Tahiti? Oh, dear. So it looks like Angelo Bronte set us up, which is not really surprising at all because uh, if you saw when we went to the party, all he was doing was secretly insulting us in Italian and also talking complete shit to us, you know? So it's no surprise that he set us up, to be honest. Do I have to swap sides? Oh, okay, yeah. This isn't my gun, is it? What kind of weapon is this? Where the fuck did my gun go? <laughs> what is this crap? 
What'd you change my gun for? Who do you think you are? Ow! I got shot right in the face then. Look at these mutton chops. Damn, those are some big mutton chops. I mean, if I kept growing my beard when I was doing that move ember thing, I would have ended up with mutton chops. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. The thing's broke. Hold on! Okay, right. Why the flipping hell is it giving me this stupid gun? I've got no idea. I mean, I've got my other gun. This this gun is very slow, but it's got a nice lot of whoa, whoa. That was very neo-ish, but it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of like force behind it. You know, it seems to really pack a punch. Just why I like this gun, because I have the repeater for like quick battling, and then I have the um, I have the handguns for like a nice like a nice. Nice powerful punch, I guess, would be the word. We're trying to... I don't know what we're going to do at the moment. Uh, things have gone to hell. Oh, God. I keep, I keep hiding behind cover. <laughs> I need to get these dudes over here dead first. Otherwise, they're going to cause a lot of aggro for me. Where is he? Is he hiding? Where is he? Is he there? I don't, I don't know who he's shooting at. Oh, I might have got his hand. Hey, look, his foot's there. How is he not... I think he's... I don't think he's dead yet. <laughs> I think I shot him in the foot like three times and he's still bloody alive. That one's still alive. There we go. Why did I lose honour? I'm losing a lot of honour from shooting these policemen. Like I even have a choice. go. Follow Lenny. Man, Lenny, what's the matter with you, mate? How many times have you been shot? Oh no, we're all just messy, aren't we? I thought they were bullet holes. <laughs> it's going to say, how the hell is Lenny alive? Oh dear God. This has not gone very well. This video is going to be a lot of action, isn't it? We do get that sometimes, you know. This game does seem to pick up pace very quickly sometimes. I love the action camera. If you guys and girls don't like the action camera, let me know in the comments and I'll turn it off. I just enjoy having it on because it's uh, it's nice to see those little slow motion shots and that. Right, just keep moving backwards and shooting, you know. Okay, I don't know if that dude had a Gatling gun then. There we go, lovely. Oh shit. Oh, flipping out. <laughs> One of them hit the post. Where are we going? Come on. Ooh, Jiminy. Look at him. Man, this gun really does pack a punch. It knocks people flying, doesn't it? Look at this gear. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I'm having a good bloody time playing this. I like the action stuff in this game. There's not enough uh, combat in this game. But then as soon there's going to be too much combat in a little while. There we go. That's what I like. That's the perfect time to press the share button. How much money did we even get? Because it didn't look like there was much money, did there? And I know in America they have one dollar bills, don't they? Yeah, I think, American, I think America has one dollar bills. So if that was one dollar bills, we probably got like nothing. That could have literally been like 20 quid. <laughs> Twenty dollars, I mean. Talk, uh, a quid is our uh, English money. That means pound, but you know, just in case you guys and girls don't know what a quid is. I'm not doing too bad at the moment. I shouldn't say that. I always end up dead when I say that. But you know, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not dead yet. Unlike in the last video where I kept getting murdered. Let me on. There we go. Finally, he wouldn't get on for some reason. <laughs> I don't, I don't worry, I'll see free of everything every day. Oh, I think that was in the heart. Oh, it was in the heart. What a shot. Hang on, no. One minute. 
Oh no, it wasn't in the heart. It was the right side. You need to shoot the left side for the heart. I, I, I started panicking then. I thought I was supposed to be riding the horse, but no, Lenny's doing the riding. I'm just doing the shooting. I should probably avoid shooting all these plates because I feel like it's lower in my honour. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to reload a lot of bullets at the moment. There we go. Oh! There we go. Come on, come on. Hopefully there ain't no more. Oh! <laughs> I think that one was the heart. Look at his face! He ain't having a good day, is he? Look at all these poor peasants. They're shitting themselves. To the right. Oh, I just try, I'm trying my best not to shoot the horses because uh, even though I've probably lost a lot of honour from killing policemen, uh, I don't want to shoot the horses because they've done nothing wrong, you know. The policemen actually chose to shoot at me. The horses didn't do anything. I like how we're riding in a, in a police wagon. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be any more... I don't know if there's going to be any more dudes up at... Yeah, I think... Yeah, look, they're blocking the way. Yeah. I think I need to shoot... Oh. Oh, he's going to give me dynamite. Come on, come, hurry up. Oh, oh, why can't I do it? Oh, okay, I did. I got to shoot it. What are the chances that that would work? I don't know if there's going to be any talking or anything, so I don't know whether I should talk. No? Got anything to say? I thought it'd be a cutscene or something. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah. You're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Total take was $46. $46. Damn. That is awful. Now, where's my goddamn horse? Oh, is, uh, is Bolt actually here? Oh, hello, Bolt. How did you get over here? I didn't even see you running with us. What the hell were you doing? I need to have myself a bath. That's what I need to have. Uh, let me let me just get the correct weapons. I'm not quite sure why in God's name it gave me such a stupid bloody set of weapons. And why the hell it made me use some weird pistol. There we go. Switch back to my uh, lasso. There we go. Let's get me bolt action rifle out. Let's uh, make sure I go and equip my hat. Because I look weird without a hat. Oh, that's not the right hat, is it? No, that's the Big Beaver Valley hat. I need Arthur's hat. There we go. I think I think that's the right hat. I'm not sure though. It looks better than the beaver hat. I do like the uh, the outlaw, whatever it's called, uh, costume. It looks really good, but it doesn't seem appropriate to wear when you're down in this like roads area because it's just so hot down here. When you wear it, even though it's a neutral costume, I think it doesn't matter if you're in the cold or the hot. It, it doesn't really matter. I think it works in both. It just looks weird in the hot weather. It looks like it look, does look pretty thick, you know. So it seems weird to wear it in the sun. Let me, uh, let me just quickly have something to eat, give my horse some food, and then uh, we'll see what our next mission is going to be. 
If we're planning on robbing the bank, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in this video. I've still got quite a lot of time left. I've still got like 30-ish minutes left or more. But uh, I don't. I think that one does go on for a while, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Oh dear. If you're hearing a load of noise at the moment, I do apologise. It's only it's currently 12 minutes past 10 on Friday and the kids are not supposed to be in the playground doing their break time until uh, 20 to 11. And for some fucking reason, they've decided to come out there now and ruin my video again. So if you can hear it, I do apologise. At this point of time, there's nothing I can do. When I used to use my snowball, my snowball, blue, blue snowball microphone i used to be able to edit it out but now i'm using the microphone's camera that i got the external camera for it i can't edit it because it is all it just doesn't work as right it doesn't work the same which doesn't seem to work i don't know why but it just seems like a waste of time so uh yeah if, if you hear it i can't get rid of it so i apologize nothing i can do you know eventually i'll move probably within the next year or two i'll be moving so hopefully you won't have to ever ever listen to me complaining about noise ever again but yeah, while I'm, while I'm running, uh, I've got something we can talk about. It's a bit more fun. As you guys and girls know, uh, a couple of days ago, I mean, it was literally last night at the time of recording. But by the time you see this video, it would have been a couple of days ago. But uh, there was the Game Awards. And uh, that's the it's, it's a show every single year done by Geoff G Keighley, I think his name is. And it's pretty much just an event that pretty much names the game of the year and also several other different awards as well like story of the year you know music of the year vr game of the year or stuff like that and actually god of war won game of the year it managed to beat red dead redemption 2 which is an absolute miracle because i will, even though i did want god of war to win because even though i love red dead redemption 2 and i i love god of war uh, god of war just was a bit ahead for me so i was back in god of war but I expected Red Dead Redemption to just slaughter God of War, to be honest. And the fact that it's multi-platform as well would have helped it. But no, God of War actually managed to win. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is one of the reveals. Because during the event, it's normally they show an award, announce an award, then they show off a brand new game. You know, like a bunch of game announcements. A bit like E3. And uh, one of the announcements was Crash Team Racing Remake. I think it's called Crash Team Racing Re Reignite Reignited, if I remember correctly, or... Oh, what is it? It's Crash... I can't remember what it's called now. Or Nitro something. Something Nitro, I don't know. It's Crash Team Racing and something else, but it, it, it is a Crash Team Racing remake, and it's got an online mode added to it. So you can now play Crash Team Racing online, and obviously on your PS4. And it looks absolutely stunning. I don't know if it's on, it might be on Xbox and Nintendo as well, I can't remember. But I know it's definitely on PS4, it would be. But I think it might also be on Xbox and Nintendo. Because I know the first one, the Insane Trilogy, was PS4 only for a year. But I think this one might be on everything on the 21st of June 2019 it releases, and I think it releases on those three. But it doesn't, I don't think there was any word of PC, so I don't know. But it looks absolutely incredible. And it, I, think the, I think the cherry on the cake for me was a couple of days ago, or about a week ago, before there was any kind of rumours of Crash Team Racing coming out at all, I said in one of my Spyro videos that I reckon that Crash Team Racing Remake is going to be announced and probably released in 2019. And literally the day after I said that, uh, a load of like game industry people were sent a set of orange dices with some uh, with some dots on them, obviously because they're dice. And uh, it was telling them to the Game Awards. It was like a tease for the Game Awards, and that instantly to me shattered Crash Bandicoot because one, it was like a set of dice. Two, it was orange, and these dices were like the ones you have in your car, you know. And it was orange, like Crash Bandicoot. And also the fact that it told you to watch the Game Awards. It was very similar to the tease they did for Spyro, where they sent a load of industry people a dragon egg, you know. And then that was literally... Uh, that those set of dices were literally sent to every people, everybody, all the game industry people, the day after I said that I reckon Crash Team Racing is coming next year. And then at the Game Awards, Crash Team Racing announced and it releases next year. So once again, I predicted the return of Crash. That is the second time I've done it now. First time I did it on the forums, second time I did it on YouTube. Absolutely glorious. If, uh, if, John, and the, if John and Abigail are in this room, I'm going to show you something funny. Oh no, they're not in there. 
Well, uh, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but if John, Abigail and Jack are in this room, because it's their own room, and you go in there and you don't leave, John will keep making comments to you. And if you refuse to leave, a little cutscene uh, plays out where John kicks you out of the room. <laughs> so yeah, if you're playing this and you can see Abigail and Jack and John in the room, just stand in there and just talk to people and then just ignore John. Eventually you get kicked out by John, he boots you out of his foot. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's go speak to Dutch and Jose, I'll see what we're going to do about this bank job. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Oh, all right. I know what this mission is. A settlement called Legras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. That's a miracle. Yeah, so uh, wh what we're going to be doing is uh, we need to go talk to a dude about getting a boat so we can attack Angelo Bronte's mansion from the swamp. I think his mansion is like somewhere around here and we're going to attack his mansion from the swamp. Now, um... I think that's what we're doing. I think first things first, we're going to deal with Angelo Bronte, get him out of the scene, and then after that, we're going to rob the bank in San Denis, and then we've got less chance of, like, you know, Angelo Bronte doing something to make it harder for us to break in and get all the money and stuff like that. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, we, this, this, this mission won't take too long. I was worried that we were going to do the bank robbery now. I completely forgot about this mission, so... Yeah, this is probably a lot better because we won't uh, have to worry about it taking too long. Because I've got about 20 minutes left and this mission will probably take about 20 minutes. But yeah, I'm just going to listen to Dutch and Arthur talk. Sorry I've spoke so much in this video. I feel like I've said a lot of stuff and I've messed everything up I've been talking about. I do apologise. I'm, I'm always distracted by noise. I apologise so fucking much, you know. I'm sorry. I don't like making bad videos. Even though 90% of them are bloody bad. Uh, come on in, Dutch. Let's have a chat. Okay, follow me. <laughs> it's like you answered me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station. Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took 
young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... What? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. I love it when he says, have some goddamn fife. Ah, oh. ah, oh, damn. It's like he forgets all of the stuff he makes us do. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators on coming. I'm just gonna say something right now. I'm sort of wondering why the hell Arthur Morgan smokes. Because every time he lights up a cigarette, he smokes one puff and he throws it on the floor. In the cutscene, he went, chucked it on the floor. A couple of videos back, when we were we had a cigarette near some dynamite, all the way back near the beginning of the playthrough, I smoked one to get some of my dead eye back, throws it on the floor. He's either he's either taking the whole cigarette in one drag. Or he just goes and throws it. It's like he smokes just for the, I don't know, to look cool. I don't bloody know. It's so weird how he smokes. He never just sits there and has a good old, you know. He's just like, done. I don't know. Maybe he's just taking it all in one drag. I've got bloody no idea. Number <laughs> big Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, just to be sure, I want my gun. Meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Oh! Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. Arthur's a legend. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> Mr. Arthur? Yeehaw! We're gonna go and search the traps. I think we're searching those traps there for crayfish. The, the, the main reason this mission takes so long is just this bit right here, walking through the swamp. You keep a lookout for company, Mr. Arthur. Check the traps with me. You can actually do this in England. You can leave traps in the uh, rivers and you can catch crayfish. Because we have the English crayfish, and then there's also an American invader crayfish that we get over here a lot. But uh, I think they actually recommend that you take them out of the water because they're not our native crayfish, you know. But uh, you can you catch them and you can eat them. 
Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. I love the banner. I love the banner in this game. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Miss Dog. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? <laughs> I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. I, I swear we mentioned alligators. Or gators. So... Why in hell are we walking in the water? And we ain't even got our guns at. And we're, 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 pretty, we're in a pretty vulnerable position right now. How stupid can you three be? I know there's three of you, but I don't think... Oh, look, see? Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Well, are they T-Rexes, are they? I didn't know, uh, didn't know alligators' vision, uh, vision was like T-Rexes. If you stay still, they won't see you. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Yeah, Jules is the person we're looking for. Because he's gone out to, I guess, do fishing or get the crayfish and he's not come back yet. And he's got the boat, I think. So if we don't get the boat back, we're not going to be able to do our uh, Angelo Bronte killing. So, you know. <laughs> ah. It all goes tits up for this lot, doesn't it? It all goes tits up. It's never a, never an easy ride for these lot. Well, specifically Arthur Morgan, who does all the work. Alright then. Do I have to? I think, uh, I think there's a bloody hurricane outside at the moment. Bloody noise. At least I know the kids won't be out there doing their break time. Well, they've already had their break time. Literally, when I was recording, I don't know what they were doing out there. Cool. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, I suppose this will wait. Let's go. I mean, wouldn't you want to go and check your crayfish traps in the daytime where it's nice and bright? Much easier to spot any alligators. Well, they are alligators, isn't they? Because you've got crocodiles which are on land more and you've got alligators that are in the water more in you. I could be wrong with that. There's a goddamn army of them, isn't there? I bet they're all, they're all just getting together. I bet there was one and got his mates and now they're going to go and get some more mates and then they're going to jump me. I bet this is a new gang in the game. You've got the Lamone Raiders, you've got the O'Driscolls, you've got the Vandalin gang and then now you've got the Gator Squad. They're going to, they're going to come for us. And they're probably packing guns as well. Oh, that would be hilarious. Imagine if they added that as like an expansion of the Gator Squad, a bunch of crocodiles chasing you. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Red Dead Redemption 1 did have... Um, up so we can search both sides. Oh. Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. Fuck off, we'll Dutch. What? Just keep oh, so I've got to go off on my own and you stick with, uh, and you stick with your friend. Oh, what a surprise. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, Rockstar did add some, like, random funny crocodile, crocodile expansion where the crocodiles are gangsters. That'd be funny, because they did have, um, in Red Dead Redemption 1, you did have the Undead Nightmare expansion, and that was glorious, you know. I can't really talk about it too much because of a couple of spoilers. But um, some of the stuff in that game, obviously, you had the zombies everywhere that you had to fight. And you also had the uh, a bunch of horses you could find. And they were like, I think they were based on the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I think there was like four horsemen of them. And they all had like different themes to them and they had different names, like pestilence and that. And you could even find a unicorn as well. But uh, I remember like one of the horses you would run along and it would set fire to everything. So it would burn any zombies around. Another one, I think, made horses' heads explode. Uh, it made, um, not horses, <laughs> that would be horrible. I think it made um, thingies' heads explode, zombies and stuff like that. Oh, there he is, look. Oh, there he is in the bloody tree. Oh, 
But yeah, the Undead expansion was, the Undead Nightmare expansion was brilliant. So was the main game. If you've played this, I recommend playing Red Dead Redemption 1. Beck and Jaws. Hey, you in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Now where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I already knew where the boat was anyway. I, I really didn't need Jules to tell me. It was very obvious where, where the boat was. I saw the boat before I saw Jules. Alright, let's get this. I got the scab. It's over here. It's stuck. I got it loose. Jump. Good man. Alright, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here. If the guns load, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. <sighs> I need to get my weapon out. There we go. He's fucking dead. He's gone. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. I flip it. I hate. I really hate Dutch. He's such a cockwomble, isn't he? Dutch. Yeah, Arthur will go. How about you go, Dutch? Don't worry, I got me, uh, I got me buck and deer handguns. Nobody's gonna come near you with these bad boys. Well, I say bad boys, it'll be bad boy and girl. Hang on a minute. Oh crap! Oh god! Oh god! Come on! Like, where's he gone? Do I just have to... Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Thank God for the minimap. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot with the crocodile or not. Oh, uh, the alligator. Come on, mate. Come on. On my shoulders. Oh. Oh, you're alright. What's the matter with you? Oh, well, he's got a, he's got a sore leg, I guess. Oh, oh shit, yeah, okay, he said don't look behind me, I thought he was joking. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I'm dead, I'm gonna get eaten. Come on, I can't run any faster. Wouldn't it be easier to leave Jaws in the water a little bit, you know? Oh god, he's bleeding all over me. What? I think it'd be easier to like, oh no, I'm out of stamina. I feel like it'd be better to leave Jaws in the water, because it makes him lighter, doesn't it? When you have people in the water. And he's lifted him right out of the water, that seems like a bad idea, it makes him heavy. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Come on. Come on, Jules, get up here, mate. Come on. Bloody bleeding all over me. 
It looks alright. Oh god, I just saw a squirt of blood. Oh look, it's squirting. Yeah, as you like, this should be git. I've got any, uh... Here we go. Have that, you git. <laughs> oh, damn, I probably made it mad now, haven't I? My dual shot four is going crazy. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. Gonna be okay. Come on, mate. Don't worry. I'm a doctor. I've played many video games where I've had to rescue people, especially The Walking Dead. So I'm definitely a doctor, mate. You ain't got to worry. You'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just going to apply some pressure very aggressively. Yeah, don't worry. Just going to squeeze your wound because that's what you do in this situation. There you go. Now I've killed you. There you go. Lovely. You've stopped him breathing as well, apparently. If he don't get a fever... No, he's just, he's dead, Arthur. Let's not pretend he's dead. <laughs> a, fever. a fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. I need to edit in the Jaws theme tune. How is he not dead yet? I mean, I shot him in the head like, I think 12 times. I threw a dynamite. He's under the water. Gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Okay, well, I'm going to have to end the video here, Wolf and Wolf it. So, yeah, let's give it a pause. What's that? What's the uh, next mission going to be? What is that? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, back up. Yeah, you could all, if you also, I know in the last video I mentioned legendary fishing. If you come up to this bait shop right here, you can actually talk to the dude or a woman and uh, they sell a lot of very good lures. I think they're like $25, so they are a, a bit expensive, I guess. It depends on what point of the game you're going to go there. If you're very early in the game, then that's a lot of money. But when you've done the Valentine Bank, you'll be all right. You know, you have plenty of money. So, uh, yeah, if you buy the lures there, it really helps with catching the legendary fish. I'm not sure if it's possible without the lures. It probably is, but I reckon the chances are way lower of hooking the fish. So, yeah, make sure you go in and grab up the legendary uh, lures. They're very good. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We got quite a lot done today, and there was quite a lot of combat in today's video. Sorry if my commentary was a bit off. It's because, um, as always, it's Friday. I'm recording this on Friday, and when it gets to Wednesday and Friday, because I've got a rush, because the bus that picks my sister up is always late, I'm always starting late. And today, 
I had I was just on time getting home. So because of that, I started rushing at the beginning to make sure uh, I started my video off perfectly and uh, didn't have to restart. And then it sort of put me in a very rushy mindset. And I sort of like I don't know. I felt like my commentary was a bit rushed in this video. So. If I talked to, if I said anything that was wrong or incorrect, I do apologise. There's a good chance I did, so I'm saying sorry now. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Let's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time, looks like we're going to be taking down Angelo Dickhead Bronte, and then after that, maybe we're going to rob the bank. So the next video should be glorious. So yeah, like, share, and join the pack today. Oh.